Well, hello friends. Welcome to our next video installment on our 1948 Dodge Short Bus. This bus, as you might recall from our video on our dismantling section, is being turned into a one-of-a-kind kids clubhouse that will be heading out to the West Coast. Um, the family is going to be using it basically out in the desert, under the stars, hanging out. So since you saw it, we've got the motor and transmission out. We fit the front clip back on this thing for probably the first time in who knows 30 years. And because this is now becoming more or less a yard art slash clubhouse, we're doing stuff a little bit different. So we're smoothing all the firewall stuff. In terms of smoothing, it's more or less getting water resistant. And the owner is going to be planting a cactus in here once it gets out here. So we're getting this sealed up, getting this fit back on. We beat our grill back on. The goal for this thing is to look very patinaed, very weather on the outside. Basically, look like this bus looks now, but then when you open the door, you almost step into this little desert oasis of just a really cool place for the kids and the family to hang out. So come on over here, take you inside and show you some of the progress the crew's been making. We got our metal fixed on our steps. Our plan is just to have a rubber inlay here to make sure our doors will still open and close. And then we're gonna have a wood floor in here. Our doors are now functional. So it's cool to see some of this, you know, stuff from 1940 is very basic, but man, the stuff still works. So coming on up in here, this is kind of our last version of what the bus looks like now before she really starts becoming her. So to go over our build plan, some of the stuff we had to do, fix the oil can in the floor, patched a bunch of holes. Any of the other holes that are in here will be filled. And now that we kind of got our design passed out with the customer and our build team, want to take you on to what we're going to be doing. So inside the bus underneath here, it's going to be a nice little bookshelf. We're going to have some USB hookups hidden in here. Maybe a Bluetooth speaker being fitted in. Coming over here, our seat is going to stay very patinaed. We'll head over to our upholstery shop in a second, get an update. But all of the leather is getting redone on the seat. So the seat will be, you know, patinaed on the base, brand new leather there. The control panel that used to be in here for the heater is going to be hollowed out. Our solar panel is going to be living up on the roof. All of our controls for our solar panel will be hidden in here. We're going to keep the original controls, redo them a little bit, but our lighting is going to run through this. So we want to keep this thing in here as retro as we can, but as modern as we can. After our bookshelf's done, our solar panel, our hookup is done. Wood flooring's coming throughout here. We're going to be painting our walls painting our roof. We're going to be hooking up our side lights again. We're going to be installing can lights somewhere up in here. They'll be running off our solar panel. And then the part that we're really pumped about is once we get this thing looking all pretty, we are going to cut this roof out. Basically, if we follow this line from here to here, come straight back, cut in here, this whole center of this bus is going away. We're going to build in-house a custom almost atrium looking like a greenhouse roof. The family wants to be able to sit out here and stare at the stars. They have an incredible property. It's out there, you know, in the desert. It's amazing. So it's going to be able to sit in here, look up and out. And now why we're doing this, we have this out, is we're trying to incorporate some sort of a hammock style bed. We're debating right now if we're going to do two beds, which will be a hammock down each side or a system that will basically come down and suspend and hang a mattress in the middle. With any project, the owner's vision, you know, is the most important aspect of the build. So in this case, once we get our roof cut out, we start getting this in, we got to work with the owner to figure out if it's, you know, a hammock down each side, if it's going to be a bed hanging down. But this will be the last time this bus looks this weathered, this beat up in here. And honestly, I think it's just a great project. The bus has had, you know, 70 plus years of just being around and at this point, the bus in here is going to turn into, you know, one heck of a family hangout. It's going to get way more use than what we were ever planning to do with it. So we're really excited to share this with you. I think it's going to be one of our cooler projects, definitely unique and outside the box. Let's head over to our upholstery shop and see how our seat's doing. So following up from over with our bus, showing all of our plans now that we have that laid out for the inside, we have our seat. Obviously, a seat has seen much better days. As we're building this really cool, you know, kids clubhouse, you know, adult hangout out there in the desert, we want to put the vintage seat back in. The seat is basically not workable and 75 plus years old. Um, our upholsterer, Habib, in our upholstery shop is going to work our magic on this. The current owner wants to keep all of the patina, but we're going to make all of this look 
brand new and let all the age and wear stay on here. So as I mentioned before in this video, this bus is very, you know, special to me. Why? I don't know. The bus is just, you know, found a place in my heart. So which leather are we going to use that matches this whooped out seat, but also matches the bus? Because the bus is still going to be very patinaed on the outside. We want to look fresh on the inside. Well, remember our Nika Bronco from SEMA a few years back? We have some leftover leather. I'm very particular with reusing stuff that uh, is one of our special cars. This bus, I think, you know, it's pretty special. So with some of our leather here, I think it's going to give it a nice, rich look. I'm going to use this brown that we have sitting here left over from our Nika Bronco. So I think this brown is going to complement all this patina in here. This is going to look, for lack of better words, age appropriate, but also be a much higher leather than probably the bus deserves. But I think it's a perfect fit for it. We have it here, so let's use it. So we'll keep you updated with our magic on here, show everything what we find in here. And we were joking. I mean, I don't even know if that's old horse hair. Who knows? We're going to get this all stripped down, figure out what we need to repair on our springs. We're going to update our foam, use some more modern stuff than what we have in here, and also get our little slider back working. And then we're guessing being this old, it's probably made out of wood, get our wood backings made for this, get our foam made. Then we'll start making our templates for the leather. So let's get her stripped down and get rolling. All right, so we're back over our bus, we're out of our upholstery shop. We saw how our seat's progressing. Now we kind of got an idea what type of lights we're looking for. We're looking for more or less an ambient light. This thing doesn't want to be overpowering in the desert. These are going to stay broken. The owner likes the fact that these look weathered with the outside. These are going to get replaced with some more modern, you know, not overpowering headlights, more or less some dim lights. So we found our original vintage stop sign. We're going to get her mounted back up, use her for some outside lighting. More or less the outside thing is really ambient mood setting is what we're going for coming around on here as you can tell the left side of the bus you know must have had some issues we're missing some lights up here but the right side of the bus has some really cool original lights so we are going to figure out how to duplicate something very similar to the original style up here and get these outside lights the goal with this bus is is when this thing's out there in the middle of the desert and it's very you know middle of the night dark you can't really see anything there's just enough light on the outside of this thing to know where the bus is, but not be overpowering where it's lit up going down the road. Just a very, you know, a little bit of mood light, a little bit of something around here. And also there's a deck going around the outside of this bus once it gets to its, you know, final quarter. So inside all of our switches, those vintage controllers, we'll be able to turn on these lights, get this thing out there, click on the lights, get the deck around it. Just going to be a one-of-a-kind clubhouse. So um, thanks for following along this video. We'll keep you updated once we get into our next section of the uh, 1948 bus clubhouse.